Uh, electric cars were actually more popular uh, before the gas car came around. There were actually more electric cars than gas cars. So the electric car is not really a new phenomenon, but today's generation just doesn't know anything about it. What we have here today are two cars that used to be gas cars, and we've converted them over to run on electric power. Um, so right now they have batteries in them, they have electric motors in them, they have no emissions, and they're basically, they're inspected and insured in the state of New Jersey, so really anybody can drive around in electric cars and, uh, you know, wake up full every morning with a full tank because you plug it in overnight, it's charged up for the next day. The front is where all the action is. That is a 9-inch electric motor. It's a DC motor, so it runs on DC power. Basically, the, the car is powered by DC batteries. So all, the, all batteries dump out DC energy, DC electricity. This is a motor controller, which basically takes its information from here, which is a pop box that's hooked up to the accelerator pedal. So the batteries just sit underneath the back here. This car with, with new 12 volt batteries would get about 35 mile range. Right now these batteries are a little older, so they give me about 20. All right, folks, go around and hop in. Since transportation accounts for roughly one third of the greenhouse gases and particulate matter in urban areas, I thought that looking at alternative fueled vehicles, zero emission vehicles, would be a good way to start to get their awareness level of this technology uh, within the course uh, curriculum. Being able to first learn about an electric car and then experience it for, uh, hands on, that's a great way to learn. It has great pickup, um, very quiet, and just great car overall. I like the ride in the car. I felt like it seemed easy, it seemed smooth, it seemed like you were in any car. So it doesn't seem like there's a big difference uh, comfort-wise or you know, experience-wise. 